basically three chords on this song. The first one is G major, which we're gonna play like this. Right, so the notes, the notes are. tremolo effect and I'm using a pedal to get this you know up and down with the volume right so very common chord shape right so we're gonna use the same chord shape and then he goes for a D major which, he, which we can use the same chord shape and play it right here if we play it right here just the same chord still a D major just play it on a different position right so this one goes like this I'm gonna put a bar right here Now we're going to play an A major. Right? It's the same chord shape as before, right? When we have here on the G major. Just going to move a whole step up. Right here. Right? So it's going to be... So it goes like this. is going to be this one right so this one right here this one right here and this one right here right so we have this chord shape right so we're going to bend this string a whole step it's going to sound like this right and we're going to play the other ones Now the chord is going to change a little bit, right? We're going to play this note, this note, and this one right here. Right? So only this note, only the fourth, the D string changes, right? So we play here and here, right? And then we're going to uh, bend a whole step, the G string again, right? Right? So... So the first two chords we have the following, right? It's just with the bending, and then we're gonna change again. It's gonna go like this, right? And now we're gonna bend, and we're gonna go back. We're gonna bend a whole step. Right, so it's going to go like this. Right? So we have this three chords, right? Right, so this is the 
progression. Now we're going to play bending them, the strings. Right? This is the last chord. And then you're going to go for this one. just gonna play like this okay, so we have this I'm sorry right play it again right so now we have this chord shape right here I'm gonna put a bar right here This one right here. We're gonna play the D string, the G string, and the B string. And we're gonna play this, we're gonna to have to do this uh, this hammer on right on the first string. We need to play all the three strings together like this. Play it twice, just like this. Then we're gonna move to this chord right here, which is just a, a D major, right? Then it's gonna go like this. And then we're going to play uh, this chord right here. We're just going to play the bar right here. Right? We're going to play the, the D string, the G string, and the B string. And we're going to have to slide a little bit, uh, like a half step. Like, we're right here. Right? So right from the beginning. This is what we have. Then we go back to this chord. And we're gonna hammer on right here. Right, so. Right. With your pinky. Right, so right from the beginning we have. time right uh, so now we're gonna play on that uh, you know that famous minor pentatonic box shape right but there's I just want you to know that it's not a minor key we're in, uh, we're playing uh, D major right so it's gonna go like this I mean, the notes of D major are the same as uh, B minor, but we're playing in D major key, right? So I'm going to show you how to play that lick right now, which is a pentatonic lick, very easy one. Right? So we're going to play this one, then this one, then bend the half step, and go back here. Right? Then... Right, so the, the, last, the last part of this lick gonna go like this. Right? Right, now we're gonna play all together this lick. together right all right so the next
next lick gonna go like this. Right, so, right here. So we're gonna play this note, this note, this note, and we're gonna bend on this right here, this one. Right, so. It's just a half step in. No, so we're gonna learn the leak right now. Right, so we're gonna go like this. Just a half step. All right, so the next lick gonna go like this. So these are the notes. Right, so we're gonna play it like this. We're gonna have a pull off. Then, right? Right? Let's go again. played the solo right from the beginning. change the pickups all right uh, all the licks we were playing we were playing on the neck pickup now you can see on the video that uh, Arlen changes the pickup he goes for the bridge pickup for this next lick right so he's gonna sound like this beautiful lick right I'm gonna start right here on the B string. Right, a full bend. Twice. Then we're gonna pull off right here. Right. And then we're gonna play uh, an open G. G, then the B string. Right? Let's play it again from the beginning. Right? So it's B string, pull off, then G string, then we're gonna hammer on on the B string. Right? Finger painting. I'm just gonna show you like the the hammer on I, I finger peep. So it's gonna go like this. On the B string. Right. So now we have this part. Then we're gonna repeat this last part. We're gonna play 
one more time G string and then this uh, pull off on the pull off on the B string and then we're gonna bend the whole step like and then we're gonna bend it twice again so it's gonna go like this and now G string right so the new part we're just gonna play the new part right so it's gonna be G string right so right from the beginning we have it's kind of fast it, uh, right so from the beginning right Show you the hands. All right, so it's you know I use the finger on the B string when I do the 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 hammer on. Right here, I just attack with the pick. Then. Then, right now we're gonna have that you know classical lick, uh, country guitar lick, right? So we're playing this. Now we're we're having our band here is a full band, right? Then we're gonna play right here, right? And then we're gonna play right here. But we're gonna keep the B string bended so and then we're gonna come back down with the B string right right so right from the beginning we have of this session we have So from the beginning, just lay it down. Now I'm going to show you the right hand on this part. You know, always when we hit the E string, we're going to finger pick. Right? the B string again at the end. At the very end we pick the B string, right? It's gonna go like this. We keep playing the the B string, right? The end of B string. The, but the B string we play with a pick, right? Right, uh, so now we're playing this lick. And then we're gonna, gonna pull off. And we're gonna put a bar right here, right? So it's and then we're gonna play this triad, G major triad, right? I'm sorry. Right, so it's then we play the bar top two strings but we don't uh, we, we, we don't uh, let the G string go right so it's gonna go like this right we're playing the top three strings uh, with our uh, with our fingers it's finger pick right so now I'm gonna show you right here Again, right? So it's uh, on the right hand. Right? We play the G string 
and then both of them with our pink with our fingers. We're playing our triad G major right here. And now we're going to bend the G string just like a, a half step, right? And we're gonna uh, we're gonna lift the the G string. We're gonna bend it a half step, and then we're gonna play the three strings together. Actually, only right. So only the B and the G string. We're gonna play right here. Right. We're gonna bend the G string, and we're gonna play it, and we're gonna come down. All right. So all together, this lick goes like this. Right? So it's this note and this note, right? Right? So it's... I'm going to show you the right hand. I'm going to go like this. Uh, right, so we use this on that descending bend. So now I'm going to play it again, uh, this last part of the solo all together because it's a kind of it's kind of tricky. This last part is just this note, like staccato, and then uh, this one and this one, right? And you're going to bend the B string a whole step. Like, like it's gonna go right. Less lick, right? So all together, this last part. Right, very slowly. Right, so now I'm going to play the whole song right from the beginning for you. For, for this lick, we're gonna play only the G string and the E string. On the G string is this note, right? And on the E string, we're gonna go this note, this note, and then this note, right? Right, we always play the G string and the E at the same time, but we're gonna bend a whole step on the G string, like, right? Right, and now we move our pinky one fret down. We bend it again. 
right? And now we leave our finger bended right here, or the string bended, and we put this finger right here, and we do a descending bend. Right, so it's... So, one more time. And now we're going to move to this position, right? And now we're going to kind of just mute it and play it the G string. Right? It's the whole step band. You go up and then you go down. Right? You know, you just hit the... Right? All these licks are finger pick like this. But this part, you got to play the G string, mute it, right? Right. So, from the start we have. Right. So now, we're going to move to this position right here. And this one. Right. And we're gonna do this. It's uh, uh, we're gonna bend the the G string, and we're gonna play right here on the E string. Same stuff, but it's it's always a descending bend, right? And then at the end, you kind of go up three times. And on the third time, you go up again. So... So, I'm going to play the whole section for you now. So this lick is very fast, but ain't that hard because it's mostly legatos, right? So these are the notes. Right, so the first lick is this notes. The second part is right. All legatos. The first part is all picked. So First part, second part. This is how it's going to sound when you're up to speed. So the next part, right? So we have this, and the next part goes like this. Very simple, right? So now I'm going to put together part one and part two. I'm going to go like this.
fast. What's the speed gonna go like this? Right, so now the third part, we're gonna play this note. Right? And then... The same old lick. All pull-offs. Right, so... Then it's just a pull off, it's just like that. Then I'm gonna go like this, right? So, from the beginning of the part number three. on the fourth string and we're gonna slide up to the 12th fret like this oh man hard to get it up to speed it's a lot of notes right all right so far so far we have faster now all right for the next part we're gonna come from the slide right and you're gonna go like this we're gonna put a bar on the 12th fret and we're gonna play the G and the D string so it's gonna go like this right So fourth, well, we're gonna put a bar right here. So it's gonna go right. So the next part, it's basically a run on the D major pentatonic. I'm, I don't know if you're familiar with the the shape, but this is the shape. Right? Right, so we're gonna use that shape on this next part. Right, so the run in D major is gonna go like this. Right? Then it's just a uh, uh, hammer ons. Then on the G string, then on the B string, right? So,
now we're going to put some extra notes, the minor scale. We're going to play once right here, and then we're going to bend it and put a lot of vibrato. All together, going to sound like this. You can, uh, if you pay attention, you will notice that when Arlen plays this lick, he kind of plays in a slow volume, you know, so it's kind of... He barely touched the strings with a pick. So now I'm going to play this whole section slowly for you to connect one part to the other. So now we're going to play these two notes. It's going to go like this. On the first time around, and on the second time around, you're going to play this. Right? So... But on the second time around, we're going to play with pinch harmonics. Right? And then you're going to hold it right there. And you're going to play on the E string. So... And when you get to that, to the top, you kind of mute with your right hand. Right? And you play... Then you come with the descending band on the third string. Right? So, from the start, Right, and then we're gonna have that BB King link. From the start. Right, so then bend it and you come down and then you go up right so right so from the start we have Right, so after this, right, so this is the hardest part on the song so far. So your pinky gonna move from this fret to this one, right? So, and you're gonna have to bend the B string, a whole step.
right? So uh, the way this is going to sound is not the way you're going to play, but just for you to, uh, to know how you're going to have to play this lick, it's going to sound like this. Right, so it's... Right, you're gonna play like two times in right, then two times on the E string, then three times on the E string. Then you're gonna slide. Right, so it's but remember that you're gonna to have to play this bending the string like. Right, so it's right, and uh, I'm just going to give you one tip: is that uh, as you're moving, moving your pinky, your thumb, you want to kind of put it on the back of the fret because it gets easier for you to reach, right? Because this is a very difficult part, and you're gonna have to practice practice a lot to play it in time. Right, so one more time. Right, so from that part, you're gonna play this. Right. So, right on the last part, we're here. Right, because we have already played like. And. And this part, this last part is. Right, so it's a whole step bend and then a pull off. Right, then a hammer on and a pull off. Right, so it's. Then. Right, so it's. Then a full bend. Right, so is so right from this start. Now I'm going to show you. Right. Um, another observation is that when you're playing this um, this lick, which is the hardest one, you, you notice that it starts with the thumb, right? And then I started moving the thumb for the back of the fretboard. And once I got here, I started bringing it up right here again, right? Because it gets easier to bend like... So you want to move uh, your thumb uh, to the back of the fretboard once you're advancing with the pinky on. And then you bring it back to, it, to the final part. Right? And uh, as you're bending, you, you, it's good for you to uh, use these fingers to help this one to bend the string like... So that's it for this part. Right, so after that bend, then we have this. Right? It's that minor pentatonic, right? Right, so it's...
Mais uma vez. Right? Then, the blue note. Right, so, from the beginning. So Put the bar right here. All right, so this last lick we play on the G string, D string, G string, and B string. Right? So, then here. string then we play the G and the B with a bar then we play the D again and then we play the G and the B and we pull a uh, hammer on on the G string right this is how we're gonna pick Play that very, very, very fast, right? This this part isn't that hard, but it, the, the the next one I'm gonna play. I'm gonna confess to you. When I recorded, I kind of cheated, and I'm gonna show you how to play the right way, and how you can cheat to play it, kind of the same notes, but in a easier way to play it. Uh, so let's go. So this part is very hard actually. I, I kind of tried to play like for 15 minutes to record the right way and I couldn't do it. Like I had to practice more to get this on the right speed. So I'm going to show you to play it, how, how the Ireland Roth plays it. And I got to confess, if I wasn't seeing what he's doing, I wouldn't guess that he was playing like this. But he plays within harmonic, right? He does, he do this kind of thing like... This is all harmonics right on the 12th fret and we're playing the D, the G and the B strings and this go like and then you just hammer on these two notes right and he kind of play with his pinky like this and he just hammer ham hammers on here and to play that uh, fast is actually very hard you have to practice a lot to get that one down but I found an easier way to play which I played the same notes that that I played on the, the, the recorded ver version of the playback and I did it like this <laughs> Very easier, so much easier than, than play. And I'm playing actually the same song, the same uh, notes. So I play the D. So I, I put these fingers right here, right? And I kind of mute the D string with my hand, right? And then I leave these fingers right here. 
and and I just like pull back, pull off, and I play like the the the, um, the D string and. Way easier, man, if you want to play like this, right? So the picking is just like this. Which is the same way if, you want, if you're going to play with the harmonics, right? Right? So he does it, he plays this like seven times. He plays this. And then he plays just like this he just hammers ha hammer on on the G string and, and the B string gonna keep ringing right so from the beginning he plays like seven times and then he plays it like this right so it's So after that, he goes, right, right, so it's, he kind of put a bar right here on the D and the G string, so it's, play it like this right put a bar on the D and the B yeah I mean the D and the G next part he does a bend right it's full bend right like this but he he does he does us a, a volume swell right he right after he finished this lick like and then he diminish the volume to zero and then he plays the the band and rises up the volume like he does a volume sound like this right so it's right so this is gonna sound something like this like You don't need to go like all the way to zero on the volume, um, you know, so it's gonna get easier to, to hear that. And then you go like this. Right? So it's only the notes are not gonna do the volume swells. Then you're gonna play this. This one, the, the, the E string and the B string, G string, G string and the E string, right, just gonna do a full bend, right, right, so, Just for you to 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 kind of understand why he's playing these notes, like if you think about the rhythm guitar, it's just like, and then like a a, a D major, right? Is and he lands on the A, right? The A note, then 
he bends this note to he get that that triad, that D major triad. So it's going to sound like this. Right? So on the E string, we play this note, then this note, and this note with the finger. Thing. Right? And we keep bending the G string a whole step. Then the E string. Right here, when he plays this part. You can not only hear the G string, but you can see in the video that he's playing the E string too. But he barely touches the E string, like, so he's gonna sound something like this. Right? Now, speaking wise, you're gonna play like this. Finger pick, right? Right, so it's. Right? And then you're gonna play right here. On the E string, then you're gonna do a descending bend with the B string. Right? Two times. Right? So... So right from the start we have right. So now we're coming from right. So from this note you're gonna do a descending blick again, right. So it's gonna go like this: descending bend, right. Then you're gonna bend it a whole bend and you're gonna hit the note and then you're gonna bend again so it's gonna go some it's gonna sound like this sorry right so descending bend then you bend right play all this descending bands together part right right so it's gonna go like this and from the start we're gonna have this Right? So we're coming from this part of the descending bands like... And then you're gonna hold the note right there and you're gonna play with your pinky on the E string. And you're gonna do a descending band. Then play right here on the B string. Right? Right? Now I'm going to play from the start for you to get the timing right, so this... Right? You're going to 
the slide. Right, so uh, from this bending part, then you're gonna slide it. Right, so it's gonna go like this. Right, so we slide on the B string. But this part, you play with the bar, right? Right, so it's gonna sound like this. And then you're gonna bend the whole step bend. So, from the start. Right, so we're coming from that part. Right? So from this band, I'm gonna play this. So we're here. And we're gonna come back, we're gonna put our finger right here. I'm 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 bending with this band with this finger and this one is helping me to bend the string like then I go back here with this with the index finger. So all in all, we're gonna play this triad, right? These are the notes, and we're gonna add this note, right? So, so from the band, right? Right. So. And then we're gonna do a descending bend, just a half step. Then, just to play the triad. Descending bend, and you finish right here on the D. Alright? Alright, one more time. Whoops. This have this like this descending bend. It's just a half step, like, like, right. And this one is a, it's a full bend, right. So now we're gonna play this run, which is major. Uh, D major pentatonic that shape right right so but we're gonna play it like this and we're gonna add the blue note right so right and then we're gonna play on the G string right so string just this right so let's go then we're gonna play here on the E string and we're gonna play it again here on the B It's kind of fast. You know, always alternate picking in this fast parts. He 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 like he he picks like ninety percent on this part. Actually, one hundred percent of the, the 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 notes he's, he's picking. Right, he's not doing pull offs and hammer runs. So you gotta work on your uh, alternate picking on this one. Right. 
right so in this part so we have do a descending bend just half step so and this is a hammer on the pull off So then right so then we hit two times the D string right so fast you're gonna have to practice a lot right played various logos like this Play all from the beginning now. Now, This is on that BB King box. We already played a very similar lick, right? So it goes like this. And he kind of does the, that um, harmonic thing, right? So it's gonna go like this. So it says da 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 da. Then, then. That BB King thing, right? Right? Is it the sending belief? And then he plays this lick, which is uh, like an A major triad. And he ends up the triad, right? Which are gonna be the, the, the notes we're gonna play. So, from the start. Then, like a half bend. So, right, so right, right, and now we're going to finger pick the top two strings, the B and the E. And then we're gonna play here again, right? And 
then we're gonna half step bend on the G string and we're gonna drop it it's very similar to the lick we learned earlier right this and then he finishes right here on the D string for the A chord then now you then this lick you play the B and the G string together like right half step bend on the G string Right, so uh, as far as the picking, you're gonna finger pick when you play double stops, right? So it's gonna go like this. Right, so. This part, like, um, so. This part, you can do descending, or you can just bend. Like, Right? It's better to like just like this. Last uh, session goes like this. Right, so it's, it's a full bend, right, twice. Then you're gonna slide, you're gonna slide to this fret, you're gonna bend it again, and you're gonna hit the E string, right? Right, so. Then you do one more bend. And you let the E string ringing. So. So it's. Right. And then you go for the G string. So it's gonna go like this. Then he, as soon as you play this note, he already go back to it, which is gonna be the next part, right? So you you're not gonna play this note and stay there. You're just gonna just go something like this, right? So it's. going to learn the next lick. So on this first part, we're gonna play those same old notes like, but he's just gonna uh, alter in between the on the picking in the rhythm. He's gonna play the G string and then the E string, just like this. And then he's gonna bend the G string, right? It's very basic stuff, something like this. Half step in, 
I mean a whole pin on the G string, same as before, right? Now we're gonna move to the next part. Right, so on this part, he plays like a, a couple of licks using two strings at a time. And we're gonna finger click like this, right? Uh, we're gonna start on the D and the B, and then here, we're gonna slide. This will be a half step bend. Right, and here we're playing the G and the E string. So we start playing the D and the B. Then we're gonna bar and we're gonna play the G and E. Then here I have step bend. Right, so. Right. part so after that we're gonna play this just pay attention that we're bending half step the G and the E string right so it's so right so this is the next phrase so from the beginning we have So, from the beginning, then here, right, just a slide again, so, but only going to play two times, right, so, and then we're going to play this note and the D string, so it's going to be, The D and the E. Just remember the soul finger click this lick, right? Sorry. Right. After this, you're gonna play this. the D and the G string, right, and then, so, and here we're going to bend the whole step, three times, like, so it's going to sound like this, right, Very simple, right? Sorry. So from the last lick, I'm gonna connect the last lick you learned with this one. Right? So on this part we have a G major, triad, then we have this triad, I'm gonna play like this, right, and then we have this double stop right here, and then we're gonna have a we're gonna bend a half step, both strings at the same time, so, right, so he's the, he's the G major spot. Right? Very simple lick. You're gonna tap right here on this fret, right? Is the third one after the the 12th fret. I don't know the, the number of it. <laughs> so uh, you're gonna bend once 
and then you're gonna like a tap it just like we learned on the first Arnold and Roth video lesson right right so it's gonna sound something like this right very cool and the next lick goes like this you're gonna slide right so slide you're gonna put a bar here slide on the fourth on the D string and then you play the D string right so then we're gonna hit here so slide on the D right now we're gonna play the B string and then you're gonna bend a half step this is gonna sound something like this and you're gonna keep a vibrato right After that we're gonna play here then the D string then on the B string right here right right and then you hit twice it's a full band right, right. this is how it's gonna to have to sound Right. Then we're gonna play here uh, a descending bend. Right, you, you're kind of getting right. It's always the same notes he plays on this chord change, right? Like, right. So from the start, from the start we have. Right. Then a descending band here on the G on the G string. Right. Right. Final lick of this part gonna go like this, right? So it was coming from right it's a full bend and now we're gonna bend even more to this note right because the melody goes like this sorry right this is how the melody gonna go so this is how you're gonna have to bend Just remember that we always paint the E string right here, right? So we're gonna try to play this melody but bending, like, like, right? It's gonna sound something like this. too much there right so on this last part I'm gonna play all together now
right, so it's that same uh, lick, right? We already played before. Just with some nuances. I found out that uh, Arlen plays it like this. He, he plays it with it, his pinky and he bends with this both of these fingers, right? Right? So it's easier to play this way. And I just figured it out right now. After all this time, right? So it's gonna go like this. Right? So then we're gonna bend again. We're gonna go on this position and we're gonna do like like this. Right? So so from the start right right so here we have this position and we're gonna bend the, the G string so it's we're gonna bend together like but we only gonna play the the, the B string when we're descending Right, so uh, it's gonna sound something like this from the start. So, right, and when you go to the it's a full band, right? Then you play the G and the B together, like, and then you descend the notes, right? So, it's So from the start we have right then he goes for the bridge pickup and you bend both of the strings and you go down you go you bend and you play the G and the B at the same time like this very hard bend uh, even for me like both strings have to go like a, a whole step but you gotta bend it together so it's a lot hard I uh, advise you to put your thumb right here so you can play it right right so it's you play the G and the B, you bend, then you hit the E string, then you do, do a descending bend with the B and the G. Right, one more time. Right, so this part he plays with volume swells and and the notes are the following. Right, so right. So the first part goes. Then the second one is on the B string. Right? So the last part is. Right? It's a full band. The thing is, you're gonna have to do those volume swells. Like, uh, you're gonna have to lower the volume down, and then you play the note and you you raise the volume. Right. 
right? It's kind of you gotta do the you gotta pick and you, you have to keep your pinky right here. As soon as you pick, you pick with the volume all the way down, and then you go up, and then you go down, pick. Right, so every time you, you, you put the volume down, you pick, right? So, this is the movement. So, all the volume, at the same time you pick, you know, you, you can notice I'm putting my volume down, and then you rise again, and you pick, like something like this. So, all right, so we're with the volume at zero. Right, so it's gonna sound something like this. You know, practice slower, like. Uh, it's gonna get a lot easier if you use a, a volume pedal to play this part. You know, it's up to you, because this is the hard way to do it. It's like Arnold Roth does it, right? He's just using the volume knob. There's a closer look on the on his right hand, right at this time at the video, if you want to check out. Right? The last notes of this volume part is like, are, are like this. On the B and the E string. And... But you're going to have to play with the volume swells, right? So it's going to sound something like this. It's a full band, right? So it's Whoops. So we're coming from that part with the volume swells, right? Which is gonna be right. Then we're gonna go right. So part one end up on the E string. You know, it ends up in the bend, the last part then. Right, so that's part one. All right, so after that we have... So... Then... Just a hammer on. Right, so... Right, so right, so from the beginning, so the second part is right, so from the beginning. Right. 
So the next part's gonna go like this. Right? So. Then. A whole bend. So from the, so far we have. Right, uh, you can speed up, but remember to always uh, practice very slow. It's going to take some time, you know, because you, you know, probably. Of course, Arlen Ruff is, is is improvising this licks, but I bet you that you know this is kind of this kind of run. He already has uh, muscular memory. He does it. He must have uh, done this a lot of times because it's not easy to play all those notes like this, you know, without practicing. So you know, just keep practicing, right? On at a lower speed, and you can you can increase the speed as you're getting better and better, right? All right. So now we have this, and we're gonna play. We're gonna bend. And we're gonna play the B string, and you can hear that it's the same note, right? So you gotta bend it until you find a spot where it's the same note on the B string and on the G string. It's a hell of good, of good of a practice to get a bend, right? You're gonna do it three times. Right, then we're gonna go this way, right, just like this. Right, so I'll finger pick you can see on the video that Harlem is right, right. So now, um, you're gonna play twice, like I'm gonna go like this. And then you're gonna bend down, right? So it's right. Right, so now we're going for the next lick. And now you're gonna bend right here, put a bar right here. And you're gonna do a full bend on the G string. And you're gonna do twice this. Right, it's G string, then B string, then E string. Like, right, this is how we're gonna play it. Remember to get a full bend. This and the and this note are the same, right? The note you're bending. Trying to find that that sweet spot, right? Very good practice for the bends, right? So it's gonna go like this. Do it twice, and then. From this position, you're gonna play the G and the B string, and you're gonna do a descending bend. Right? Right? So. that you are always finger peeking like this. Right? And on 
the last lick you're gonna do this put a bar right here and put your finger right here on the G string then and you're gonna play the D the G and the B I put a bar then so it's gonna sound something like this this last part right so again Now here you can like do a, a pull up, right? So far we have. Right, once again. Is that same lick with the with the harmonics which we have already played here like right but we're gonna play it right here you're gonna put a bar here and you're gonna play the G the D string then you're gonna pluck with your fingers on the G and the B and then you're gonna tap it right here it's like you're playing an A chord It's basically you playing this like which is a way to cheat it right you can play it like this very fast it's very easy like you can, then you just pull off too but if you want to play the way Arlen Roth plays you got to play the harmonics here right it's very it, it's hardest to play up to speed but it's a matter of practice right right so B and the G string this is like a D then you pluck with your fingers right you play with the pick on the D string then you pluck with your fingers and you tap it with the right hand Right, it's a tapping. Right, and then you move to the D chord right here. Right, it's the same uh, shape, and you're gonna play the same lick. So it is from here in this position. And this is like the very end of uh, you you already learned this part, right? And now we go like this. You, you're only going to tap it on the G string. Right? Right, so we're here. And then we're going up. Then you play the different one. Alright. You know the hardest part here is that to know when you come from this chord and then this one. You're gonna have to listen a lot of uh, a lot to the music to the song to, to get it right because it's a matter like he's improvising you gotta wait for the chord to come to then change the notes right mm -hmm. 
and this part is at the very end, right? Because he's playing like this chord, right? Right, and then um, you're gonna play the G, the E, and the B, and you're gonna play that very old lick, right? But now he plays in a different rhythm like this. Right? So we're coming from here. Right? So this, this is B, string open B, then open G. So Right? So we're coming from... Then we're gonna slide. It's just a half step bend, right? So I was gonna go like this. Right? And this last one. It's a full bend. It's gonna so go sound something like this. Right, so right. He's right here. And the last leak was like and it's like. Right, so the next part goes like this. Uh, right, so then you're gonna put a bar right here, and you're gonna play the E and the B. Then you're gonna play the G string and do a descending bend. Right, so. Right, so. Then you do a descending bend and pull off to open G. Alright, so we're gonna go like this, right? And then you're gonna bend on the D string. Right, so it's gonna go something like this. Right? And then you're gonna play an open B and open G at the top of the band. And you're gonna finger pick those, right? Right, so right, so open B, open G, right? We're coming from this band on the B on the D string, then B, then G, right? We're gonna play, and then we're gonna do this band on the D string, same note, right here. Right? And you you pull off to open D. Right? 
so then we're gonna play this lick on the A string then open G right you can play uh, the, the open G with your finger right so yes to G right so we can get that bend it a half step to G right so from the beginning I'm gonna go like this this is how the, the whole lick is gonna sound Placed uh, two strings at the same time, the G string and the B string, and we're gonna do this right to replace both strings together. And we're gonna do a hammer on, then we play this, and we do a pull off. Right, so. It's all finger picked, right? I'm playing like this, like. And now I'm gonna use the pick on the fourth string. All right. So we have this. Then we're gonna play this. And we're still playing the B and the G together. All, all of these licks we're playing always the G and the B string together like right right and so now we're gonna play here on the D string, pull off to open string, then we play the A, and now we play the D string with our finger, so, right, so, hammer on, on the A string, then we play the D string with our finger. Right, then we do a pull off on the A string. Right, so all together. Right. Then. And then we play the D string with our finger. So all together this part goes like this.
I'm gonna play a very similar lick, which is. Right, so it's the same as the start one. We're gonna play the B and the G together. Right. Uh, and now we're gonna do some pull off. This is exactly the same, right, as we learned before. And now it's gonna change a little bit. We're gonna do some pull offs. So it's gonna. The last notes are. And you wanna play with this finger because we're gonna play a chord after that. Right? chord goes like this, right, that Hendrix chord, but we're gonna, uh, we're gonna play it like this, we're gonna bend the G and the B, and we're gonna bend, and then we're gonna play and we're gonna come down, something like this. So this leak is going to be on A major, right? So so. Right, so this is part one. This is how it's going to sound. Right, then we come for part two, which is going to be this note. Right, it's just that chromatic lick. But we're not going to play with our pinky in the end. We're going to play it like this with the slide, the last note. Right, and then you're going to hit with your pinky on the high E string right here right so, and you're gonna mute the strings to to do to give that chicken style right right So from the start we have you kind of uh, do that harmonic thing on this, right? those you know those harmonics would use the pick in your thumb right so now the last lick of this session we're gonna play like this right we're gonna bend both strings a whole step right it's gonna sound like this and we're gonna land here and we're gonna pick again like right So the whole lick goes like this. Right? Right? Sorry.
So we're coming from this lick. Then we're going to slide into a bend on the G string right here. And we're going to play the E right there on the top. Then we're going to go like this. And then we're going to play this. This note. And this one. And we're going to bend the whole step, right? Which is going to be the same note as this one. So these are the positions. Right? The lick going to go like this. Once you, you reach the top here on the G string, you're going to play the G, the B, and the E. You're going to finger pick like this. Right? Right? Just once. Um, I'm going to show you how it's going to sound. So it's going to go like this. Right? So... And then you're going to finish on the G string. It's going to go like this. And you're going to put some vibrato on the G string. The picking hand is going to go like this. This is a great lick, right? Every, I think one of the greatest things about Arlen Broth is that this is this kind of uh, B bender and G benders, licks he does like when you gotta like bend the note right to to the right point. That's a that's a lot of that's a great practice for your bends, right? To get some right to get that you know the right note. So we're here. Right? Right, so now we're gonna play this lick. You know that famous blues lick? Right, so um So we're gonna play like this, the D and the B string. Right? Then we go for a double stop on the top two strings. All right. And then we're gonna we're gonna bend the whole step. And we're gonna do a descending bend. Uh, at the same time you do this descending bend, you're gonna have to play this strings, right? So it's gonna be something like this. You're playing three strings at the same time, right? This is the how the picking your hands go, hand go, right? So from the beginning now, we should have this. Right, so. And now we're going to bend the whole step again, the G string. So it's going to go something like this, but we're not going to pick the G string. So, so. And once you reach the top, you, you play the E string. Right? So it's going to sound something like this. Right? So. From the beginning, we have this, right? How are we going to do this? So we're playing this lick, right? And from here, we're going to put our finger back here and we're going to pick Bend down, bend up, bend down, and then pull off. This is how it's going to go. Right, so.
right? So, so we're going. Right? So from the beginning we should have this. Right? So and now you're gonna have that blues lick. Which we're gonna put a bar here and then we're gonna play this double stop on the B and the G. So and then we're gonna put a bar right here on the B and the G. We're gonna do this. So is then right, so is B and G, then D, then B and G, pull off, I mean hammer on, then twice on the D string. Right, you can palm mute with your hand like Very commonly. So from the beginning, you're gonna have this. Right? it up to speed like right right so we're coming from that leak that blues a leak. Then we go here. We're gonna. It's almost the same. We're only gonna play like uh, the D, the G, and the B, right? So we're gonna put a bar right here in the 12th fret. And then we're gonna hammer on this finger, the, this finger on the E string right here. The B string, sorry, right here. And then on the D string right here. But we're gonna do it at the same time like this. You know, is that Keith Richards move like. And you're gonna play like this. Right, so. The picking hand is going to go like this. Right, so. And now we're going for the next, next leak. Right, so you do this. So it's. Right, so then, right, then we're gonna play this chord, which is the same thing, right? We're gonna play the same way we play this. Right, we're gonna play with the pick on the A string, and then we're gonna play with our fingers. Right, so. And then we're gonna play this other chord, which is gonna be like this. Right here, right here, and right here. And this note, so, right? So we're coming from this, right? So the only thing different from this chord to the, the next one is that we're gonna lift this finger up and we put, put our finger right here. So it's gonna sound something like this, right? 
But when we play this chord, we're going to bend this string a whole step. So it's going to sound like this. Right? Whole steps, kind of hard. So um, this is how you're going to play it. Right? This chord is going to be played like this. Right? So... Right, and now we're gonna go for the next lick. The next lick gonna go like this. We're gonna play on the B and the E string. Right, it's that country lick. Right, simple one. And we're gonna lift these fingers here and we're gonna put this one right here. And we're gonna bend a whole step and we're gonna do a descending bend and we're gonna play the three top strings at the same time like this. Then we're going to land here. So it's going to go like this. Don't forget that you're going to let ring this top notes, right? So. Right. So this last part goes like this. Right. Very, very beautiful lick. And now you're going to still you're keeping this fingers right here you're going to go back to this position on the G string and we're going to bend it and we're going to play the B and the G only and we're going to let this finger right here because on the next lick we're going to start doing that you know that that thing he always does like right but let's keep to the this lick we're playing so the whole lick's going to go like this Right? Just keep in mind that when you do this descending band here, you're playing three strings at the same time, right? You're gonna pick like this. Right? So the picking gonna go like this. Right? Uh, so right from the start, we have this. Right, so the last note we, we, we just played was were, were just two, right? And I noticed that uh, Arlen also plays the, the top E string, so we're gonna play it like this. Like three strings at the same time. Right? So it's that same old lick, like we're gonna, our pink is gonna descend and it's gonna sound something like this. Right, so. Time. I'm going to show you the right hand right now. So here you go. All 
Right, so now we're going to play the top E string and then we're going to do a descending bend on the B string. It's going to be a full bend. Right. Right, so from the beginning we have this. Right, you let the, the 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 E string ringing. This next lick gonna go like this. This one right here, this one right here, and this one right here. Right, and we're gonna use this finger to help this one to bend, cause cause we're gonna bend the G string. Right. And now we're gonna bend the G string. We're gonna, first, you play the E string. And then you you play the B and the G together like this. And then you go down. Right? So go up and go up, then go down. Go down. And then you play the B and the G again. Right? Right? And once you play this uh, B and G again, you're gonna have to play the, the harmonics, right? And then you're gonna bend the G string again. Right? And the way you're gonna play this harmonic, you're gonna have to use both of these fingers, right? This one is gonna tap right here in this fret, right? And this one is going to fret right here, so you're going to have to tap it like this, right? Because it's going to be two different frets at the same time. And after you, you tap the harmonic, you're going to bend like... Right, you're going to bend the G string only. So... Um, Right, uh, why, do, why do we have to put like uh, the fingers in different fret positions? Because we're mirroring this chord, right? And you can see that the G, on the G string, the finger is like a fret, a uh, half step lower than the, on the B string. That's why we... Right, just practice this. So the whole lick is going to sound like this. Right? Now I'm going to play the whole lick for you. Alright, so this part is a lot of fast licks, and uh, so we're playing this on the harmonic, right? And when we're right up there, we're gonna play uh, the E, then the B. And we're gonna do this bend on the G, so it's... Right? So... We always leave these fingers right here. Then we're gonna do this. And we're gonna play the E and the B. And then we're gonna bend again. It's gonna sound something like this. Like so we're this is from the last lick, right? It's the harmonic part. Here you do a, a 
hammer on on the A string, so it's so. Open G, right? Then and once you land here, you play the E and the B, and we're gonna keep on playing all this right now. Um, I'm gonna show you the right hand. So over here. Right, so after we play this, we're gonna keep playing E and B, and we're gonna bend here on the G string. It's a whole step bend, right? We're playing this. But we're bending. And then we're gonna bend a little more so we can get, uh, like we're gonna have a step bend. It's gonna sound something like this, like. Right, so this. So, right, so, it's a very hard bend, right? So you bend and you use this finger to help you bend the string. And then you you go up and then you go down. It's gonna sound like this, right? Very hard to get that one. I'm gonna play it all from the harmonic. play this right and then this finger gonna go here on the G string and you're gonna play this lick right so I'm gonna show you the basic stuff you're gonna have to play this one and what it is on the picking hand it goes like this you play the D open D and you try to make it sound like this right so I'm gonna play right from the beginning right now so from the the harmonic and you go playing this until you get the timing right. You're gonna have to listen to a lot of times of the song so you cannot count like how you know, he's improvising and... Right, so from the beginning we have this. to move this one you just leave it there so at the very
very end of this lick, this because it does a lot of time like this. And then at the very end he starts to do something like this. Right? And what it is is just you just control it on the right hand. So the simple way is goes like this. Right? This is the normal one. And the other one goes like this. And uh, the, the, the left hand is the same. Just the only thing that changes is the right hand. lift this finger right here on the B string. Right, so from the harmonic part we have the following. Last part gonna sound like this. Right? And after that you're gonna do this this lick. And you're gonna bend a half step. Right? Is that same old lick we have already learned? And you pull off to open G. We're playing uh, the B and the G together right now. Right, we already learned this one. play here on the D right and then we play the B and the G right so sorry right and the last part's gonna change a little bit do this pull offs and you bend a half step in the end. So it's going to sound like this half step end. Is there and the right hand on this part is going to go like this just for me to show you
from the start. So the hardest thing is to get the timing when you go from this part like to this one and when you go from this part from this one so the thing is you're gonna have to uh, listen a lot of times to the, the music to the song on this part to get the tempo and the timing because you know he's improvising it's hard like to know exactly when he's gonna change so my advice to you is like, you know, listen to the song and I mean, you don't even need to know to play exactly just notes, right? You can adapt yourself to to, to get the sound you want because this is improvising and, and it's actually what Arlen is doing on that song. So, uh, I mean, you can just play this in this part. You don't even need to know to play this lick. Right, because this one is a hard one. So you can just like... Right? So now from the... I'm going to play it again from the... coming from this lick right here right and then you're gonna bend a half step and play the G string and you're gonna do it twice just like this right and when you play the the, the, the G string you play with your finger and you pick the A string and then you're gonna do this movement just uh, pay attention that we're playing half step strings right right so it's gonna sound like this right so playing from the lick before Do this movement, and now we're gonna start bending behind the behind the the nut, which is very funny uh, because on the on the on the video that shows Arlen playing this part, he's there focusing on his right hand where the magic is happening in his left hand, right? So it, this is how we're gonna play. You're gonna do this lick, and now you're gonna do a full bend. So. This is the sound you want to hear on the G string. But you want to bend behind the net. Right? So. Right. And you, and you leave there. Leave the note right there. And then you play the E string. And then you do a descending bend behind the net. Right? It's going to sound something like this. Right? Okay. So this is how I'm picking this part. messed up in the end right is 
and then you play the E string, do a, a descending bend. So this last part is, the bending the hard and nut part is going to go like this. Right, so it's A string, G string, then E string, G string, with the descending bend, right? practice that to get the right intonation you can use like both fingers to to bend right here right because it's gonna be easier so from the beginning we have this right and now we're gonna play the A string and the G string again and we're gonna do only descending bends like right twice right you you push the string first and then you hit right so from the beginning it should sound like this from the beginning right so uh, the next the next leak we're gonna learn we're gonna start bending behind the nut on the D string right and we're gonna play the G string together like uh, not at the same time but you know Right, so it, it's a full band, right? And then you play the G string. And then you play the A, A string again on the descending band. Right, so. And then you play the A string again, like. And then you finish with a full band on the G string. So now I'm going to show you the picking hand, how it's going to go. Right. So putting it all together is going to sound like this. Back to that lick again. We're gonna play this. Right? You're gonna play here, here, and you're gonna you start with the uh, D string, and then you play the G and the B together three times. And on the the third time around, you're gonna come back like this. Right, so it's gonna go like this. 
right? You're gonna uh, pull off on the G string, then play here on the D, and then you're gonna play the G and the B together. Right, so it's... Right, on the right hand it's gonna go like this. And then you're gonna finish with this chord right here. Right? We already run, learned this one, and you're gonna do a half step bend with the top fingers, like. Right? It's gonna should sound like this. Putting all together. This next lick is just a, a scale and uh, with some pinch harmonics, very easy to play. And you slide to this note, then you go like this. Right? So the first notes are. Then on the B string. So all. Right? Right, and you go this note, and then you just do like this uh, chromatical lick. So on the E string is basically this, right? So. But Ireland plays this with uh, pinch harmonics, right? So you're always speaking down and with, uh, with doing the pinch harmonic with your thumb, like... Right? On the last notes, he doesn't pick with the harmonics. But the first ones he does like... Right, and he 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 plays here on the B string, and he slides to an open string. Right on the B, and you do a pull off to an open string. Right. So all together, gonna go like this. Right. Then you're gonna do a second slide to this position right here. Right? And then you're gonna do a full bend here on the E string. Right? So. Right? Then. This lick, right? On the E string, putting all together, right? Then we're gonna do a pull off here on the B string, right? So this note and this one, and we're gonna come here for the third, right? 
So all together. Right? Right, then we're going to play this note. And then this one. Right, so... On the E string, then on the B string. So... Right. Putting all together right now. Then we're gonna do that BB King lick. Right? You already learned this on right side. So half step bend, pull off. Right, so all together. Right. Right, so now I'm going to play the whole week. Right, so we're going to start with the BB King lick, right? So it's going to go like this. Right? Then you're going to play on the E string. And then you're going to play on the B string and you're going to bend the half steps. And you could do you're gonna do it four times, so right, it's finger pick this part to like right. So from the beginning we have We need to have step and play it four times. Right, so from the beginning we have and then you're gonna do this the BB King lick again. Right, so the next lick is the BB King again. And now you're gonna bend here on the B string. Right, and you're gonna play this note on the E string and this note. It's gonna sound like this. And then you're gonna finish like this. Right, so from the beginning, we're gonna play the BB King lick. Right, so. Right, so. We're going to play this lick from the start now. Right? Once again. Uh, 
played the lick before this one so you can put it all together like right I have that band which we're gonna play three strings three strings right so this one's And we're going to do a descending band on the G string. Right, and we're playing the top three strings together. And then you're going to bend here the full band. You're going to bend, play the E string and the G string, and you're going to bend the G string. Right, so. Right, so then you play the G, right? One thing is that when you bend uh, the B string, playing the B and the E, we're playing, I mean, when you bend the G string, so, right? Here we're playing only the B and the E, but you're gonna have to bend the B string together but you're not gonna play it, like, because you're gonna have to do a descending band like this. And when you do the descending band, you play the B and the G string, like. Right? So it's gonna, it's gonna sound something like this. Right? So. So all together. Right? Remember that you when you go up with the bend on the G string, you don't play the B string. But you bend the B string. Because once you reach, reach the top, you play the B and the G. Right? I'm gonna show you the right hand. So So this next lick is a pentatonic lick, very easy one. This is gonna be the rhythm. But you must pay attention that sometimes he, he, he does the pinch harmonics. You know, it's up to you if you wanna do it. So the notes are, it's a half step bend, then here, then on the B, right, so, this is the first one. Then we're going to do this. So it is. Right? Then we're gonna slide. Right? We're gonna slide on the D string that blues leak right if you're playing the D the G and the B and only the B and the G at the top right we already know this one so it's play the D string right So after you, you, you do this, you're going to play that lick we already know, which is with the harmonics. Which uh, is the same strings, the D, the G and the B. 
but we're gonna hammer on on the G string right here. You do it three times, then you do. Right, so the right hand is gonna go like this. Most mostly the same, right, as we already learned. Play this last part for you to get the timing. Right? Once again. Playing uh, just uh, the same licks, but we changed the key on the song, and we're gonna play like everything we're playing. We're gonna have to play uh, one fret above. So before we were playing right here, right now we're gonna play it right here. But it's the same lick, like. Right, only G string and B string, the same O notes. And the timing is the following. Right, so this is the first leak. Now we're going to play this. Right, so. And we're going to bend the G string. We play the three of them together once, like, and we hold it there. Once we're at the top, we're gonna start altering between the pick and the finger, and we're gonna play the G string and the E string, just like this. All right, so uh, the right hand gonna go like this. Had a little problem with my fingers. <laughs> right, it's been a while since I don't practice, so I kind of got hurt, but we're doing fine. So, this is how the right hand is going to go. Right. The next leak is going to be the falling. We're going to uh, play on the G string this slide and then we're going to play open B then open E So this uh, So this is how it's going to sound like And each time we're playing G B E G B E the strings right G then B then E is very simple I'm going to show you the right hand And then we're gonna play this lick. Which uh, we're gonna start. Uh, let's just play the G string first. So it's just gonna be like this. Right? Just one pick. But when we play the G string, we play 
uh, the open E string with our finger, like. Right, so. Then we're gonna play this. Then open G, and then we're gonna land on the D string. So the next lick is gonna be open G, then. So all together it's gonna sound like this. We're coming from this. Right? This is how you're going to play with the right hand. So all together is going to sound like this. Correction. This last lick I told you like... Uh, it doesn't end like that. You're gonna play like that, but you're gonna do this. Right? It's just that, just this extra note. Right? Just a little correction. So the first lick is going to go like this, we're going to slide, we're going to slide on the a, a D string and then we're going to play the G string, then open B. Right, this is the first lick. Right? And we're going to play with our fingers, like this is one picked, this one is a finger. And the open B is with a finger too, so sorry. Then we're gonna do this second lick. And it's gonna be a full band. So on the G, then on the B. Right? Alright, so far we have. And then you're gonna hold it there and you're gonna play the E string. Right, so you're gonna alter between the B string and the G string, that lick, you know, same of that. But you're gonna play only this note, like. And then you land here, right? So, and then you're gonna play the top E, right? And then we're gonna play the G and the E string together, that, right? So all together is gonna sound something like this. Then, right, so with this note and this note. So, actually, you're gonna do twice, like, right? So, 
all together. Right? Right, so uh, when we're playing this lick, we're gonna have to tap this note on you know, this fret on the G string and this fret right here on the E string. Like this, right? So it's gonna be it. Right? So the lick's gonna sound like this. Right? You kind of go up, then you go down, tap it, go up again. Sorry. Right? So? So from this, we're gonna do this, right? So we play the E, then the we start playing by we start playing the E string. Right. So all from the start is gonna sound like this. Right, so this is the extra licks of this this part. Right? And then you're gonna bend it down to this position. So then right. So right here. Like twice on this position, and then you're gonna move your finger for this, and you're gonna do a descending bend. You know, it's that same note. I just changed the fingers because it's easier to play. Like, right? So all together goes like this. So from this part, we're gonna do this chromatic thing, like playing the B and the E, right? So it's gonna sound something like this. And when you get to this part, you're gonna bend the half step, right? So. And then you're gonna play the G and the B. And then you're gonna tap right here on this fret. And you're gonna play the B and the G, you're gonna bend. Right? So it's gonna sound like this. Whoops, sorry. Like you play the B and the G, you're gonna tap. And you start to bend. Right? Something like this. Right? Right? So you play this part. Is this this is the fret you gotta you gotta tap with both of your fingers, right? To get that harmonic. So you play, you bend it and you I mean, you play, you tap it, then you bend it. And once, and then you hold it up there on the bend and you do a descending bend. This is the last lick, like descending bend with 
the two notes right then open G right then all together is going to sound like this So the first lick gonna go like this. Right? Then you're gonna go like this. Right here and right here. And we're gonna play the D string with the pick and the G string with our finger and we're gonna pull off on the G string like this but we're gonna play we're gonna alter between the D string and the G string and you're gonna palm mute with your hand right so we're gonna play this right and then we're gonna move the uh, for this position on the G string and we're gonna increase speed Right, so it's gonna sound something like this. Right? And then we're gonna do this. And we're gonna slide to this position. Right? So from the beginning we have this. Once you slide to this, so you're gonna do it like this. You're gonna do a full bend here, right? So it's gonna sound like this. Sorry. You play D, then G, then you play D again, then you slide. And then you play G here, and you play this. Right, so. So, um, once you do this, um, you do this five times, two, three, four, five, and then you go to this chord, right? Uh, this 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 kind of licks we are we, we we have already learned on that tequila song right is the same like you're gonna have to do something like this right it's gonna do a full bend it's very hard to get that bend like very properly so we're coming from. You're gonna have to play. So it's gonna be a str a string, right? A string, and then you're gonna do a full bend. 
on the G string. Right? So. And then you play the G again and you do a descending bend. So it's A string, G string, bend, then you play, uh, do a descending bend on the G string again. And once you go up here, you play D, then G, right? Right? And then you're gonna repeat again the, this last part. You're gonna do uh, like a... And then you're gonna do this. And you're gonna play D and A again, right? So... Last part is just that band go up and go down. So the notes are right. Right. So we come from and use line. Show you the right hand. Um, I'm using only this finger because this one, you know, is kind of you can play with both. Right? So this is a very hard band to get, right? only one finger like it's easier if you put like two fingers to bend the bend is not like very easier all right so now we're going to slide to this position right here right This is how we're gonna do. We're gonna do a full band here. This is um, right. And now uh, you're gonna play. Uh, uh, you're gonna start playing uh, A, D, and G strings. And then it's going to be the same pattern. Which, which you're going to play like D, G, D, then A string. Right? So it's going to sound like this. And you're going to, uh, you do the first band like... Now you, you do you do three times like this, right? So it's gonna go something like this, like two, three, right? Right. So now we're right here we're gonna put our pinky right here so the only thing that's gonna change is that our pinky goes to this position right so we don't need to play this one anymore right so we're from coming from and then we're gonna move this thing your pinky to this right and the other ones they don't move at all you can just remove this one and you do it Three times again. This is very hard to, to do, man. You know that uh, when Arlen plays this, he doesn't move this finger. Uh, for me, it doesn't work like that because it's harder for me to do this bend if this finger is it's on the fretboard, so I, I have to move it. Because you know, either way, you're not playing that 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 note, right? Mm -hmm. 
and you do it three times. It's the same pattern that we were playing here, like. Three times, it's, you know, it's a hell of a stretch and it's kind of even harder. It, it's already harder to bend the strings when you're playing two at the same time and you're bending another one, right? That's hard enough. But when you do the stretch, it, it, it becomes even harder. As, as the way you're playing strings is the same pattern, right? It's G, D, and then A string. It's just that same old lick again. Right, so putting together the last the last part gonna go like this. Right, it's three bends on each part. Uh, I mean, I'm not counting this first long band here on the first one, right? This one doesn't count, but after that one, you do it three times. Right, then you move, you switch positions and you bend it three times again. Right, so it's gonna sound something like this. Right? All right, so now from the beginning, it's gonna sound like this. Right, so uh, this is my favorite lick on the song, it's beautiful. So you start right here and right here. Right, and it, it, you play it twice. You're playing the G and the D string together and you're bending twice a whole step. Right, so... And now, like... You're gonna play this. You you're playing right here, so, and then you're gonna do this. Uh, then you're gonna play the G string and the A string, right? So it's gonna go like this. You're coming from here, right? And right. So all together, gonna sound like this. Right. And then you're gonna play this note here. beautiful chord all right so this last part gonna sound like this and then you play the B string right it's gonna sound like this from the beginning Once you hit that uh, B string, right, a note, then you can uh, move this finger up and then you're gonna do this very fast descending band, like with the G string. Right? It's gonna sound something like this all together. Right? Right? And don't forget this notes, they gotta keep ringing like this. Sorry. Right?
and then you're gonna play the three strings together and you're gonna bend a whole step and you're gonna do this and then you play twice when you get to the top like you play once and bend it then you play one more time the three strings as you're at the top like this right so um, now I'm going to play it all together for you. So the first lick, we're gonna play like this, playing this chord, and we're gonna play all the three strings together, like we're gonna bend the whole step, right? The G string, right? So we bend the whole step. We, we play it once, and then we play it again, and then you play E then B. Right? And then you're gonna do this bend. And you're gonna play the E string. So... Right? So the whole thing is gonna sound like this. Right? Then we're gonna play it this note and this one like this. Right? It's the whole band. Right? So putting it all together gonna to sound like this. Right? Sorry. You bend it, play it once, and do a descending bend. And now we're gonna to have to sound like this. Like. So this is gonna be the notes on the E string. And we're gonna play here and we're gonna blend the whole step. This is like the pattern, right? So we're just descending a one step, a half step on each fret on the G string and the and the E string. And you're gonna to have to bend the whole step, like Right, so right, so the G string the notes are and on the E, right, on the G. But remember that we're gonna have to bend the whole step because it's gonna sound like this. Right? This is how it's gonna sound, but we have to bend from a half step, from a whole step lower on the G string, like. Right? So now we're gonna play this pentatonic stuff. This on this shape. Right? And the first note, we're gonna do a volume cell, like. Right, so, so, but only the first one. Then on the first time around, we're gonna play like this. 
So uh, I'm not going to do volume swells uh, in this part, right? So only the first notes of volume shell, but I'm not going to do it anymore in order to show you the notes, how to play it, right? So it's going to go like this. Right, so let's go it again. Right, and on the G string we're gonna go like we're gonna go like this. We're gonna do a a slide. Right. So the first note, then right, and then it's a descending bend half step bend on the G string right so right so now we're gonna do the volume sound only on the first note Right? And now we're going to learn another part, which is very similar to the, this one, but only that uh, we're going to do volume swells at every note. So we're going to play the last lick. Now I'm just going to tell you that all the notes are going to have volume swells, but I'm not going to do them right now, just in order for you to learn what to play. Then we're going to work on the volume swells, right? So the notes are, it's very simple, it's just that pentatonic stuff right very straightforward right and once in the next note we're going to play like this we play the three strings right with your fingers like and on the end you bend it a whole step which is gonna do the E major uh, the E major chord right which is the chord that it end up the song so we're gonna go like this oops right work on the volume swells right then you go up put down volume down then pick then sorry right Gonna take some time for you to get the speed right. This it's very easy if you do it with a volume pad. I don't know if you have one, but it's very easy. All right, so that's the whole song, man. Any doubts you have, you just ask me. I got this little bruise right here from the from the song. It was worth it, man. I learned a lot of licks in the song, <laughs> right?